Hello. Um, we're going to look now at another possible ADC architecture, which is the flash ADC, sometimes also referred to as the parallel ADC. And as you can see, it consists of a resistor ladder, um, which basically divides uh, the voltage between zero and, and the full scale voltage, which I've labeled as VFS. And uh, the voltage will go increasing as you go tapping uh, at different points in the ladder. And uh, each one of those voltages is being used as the reference to a comparator. And then the other input of the comparators uh, is being fed with the analog sample. And so basically the analog sample is being compared uh, with the different voltages along that resistor ladder. Uh, you can see that for uh, any particular value of the analog sample, I will have uh, all the comparators which are below uh, a particular point within that resistor ladder being in their low states or their, or their high state and the comparators above that point in the ladder being in the opposite state. And uh, then all those outputs get fed into an M2N decoder, uh, which provides the n-bit digital output. So for example, uh, if I have a 3-bit system, I will have 2 to the 3 or 8 possible states. Uh, that will require uh, 8 minus 1 or 7 comparators. Notice that there are 2 to the n minus 1 comparators. And so I will have then to decode that uh, to my 3-bit digital output. The advantages of this system, uh, they're pretty clear, is that it's the fastest. Uh, that's why it's also called the flash ABC. So main advantage is speed. Notice that the conversion rate is uh, one clock cycle for any value of the analog input, because all those comparators are, uh, are comparing at the same time. The main limitation uh, is also pretty obvious, um, is the complexity of the circuit, more than the complexity, um, I'm referring to the number of comparators that is required. Uh, you can see it will require two to the n minus one comparators. So as the value of n goes up, the number of comparators needed goes up exponentially. Um, for a 3-bit system, we just mentioned 2 to the n minus 1 will be 7 comparators, but for an 8-bit system, then we will have uh, 2 to the n minus 1, 2 to the 8 minus 1 will be 255 comparators. Uh, for a 16-bit system, we have 2 to the 16 minus 1, which will be 65,535 comparators. So you can see that at some point it becomes impractical uh, to operate with a flash ADC. But for small uh, number of bits, uh, it provides a fast way of converting uh, an analog signal to digital form.